super proud of Jose and the rest of our team. They just brought it, especially in the second half. Um, they picked up their energy. You know, we picked up our force, our pace defensively, flying around. That's what it's about. It was fun to watch. You talk about Jose's energy a lot. Is there is there ever a day when he doesn't have juice? <laughs> Very rarely is there a day that Jose doesn't come in and do what he does, uh, what he did tonight. He, he does that in practice, shoot arounds, walkthroughs, film. That's just who he is. And um, it, was, it was a joy to watch. Did you kind of know once he, as soon as he got in, it was going to be one of those kind of days for Jose? It seemed like right as soon as he got in the game, it was he was hitting. You know, sometimes it's like that um, for Jose, for other guys. They, they're feeling it. They get it going early, and his teammates uh, did a, a great job of looking for him. And we needed his points, his production tonight. He, he was off the charts. Uh, I think when he did come in in the first quarter, that was I, actually, I think, when Jokic sat. How big were those non-Jokic minutes uh, for you guys tonight? They were huge for us. Um, we all know that his plus minus, and not that I – look at that a ton, but his is one of the best in the league when he's on the floor. Uh, when you take him off the floor, those are opportunities for our team to, to go on a run, and we did that. And um, look, it's, it's, it's a blessing, man, just to coach this team. Um, I'm so grateful for these guys. They, they bring it night in and night out, and um, I'm thankful to be a part of it. Yeah, and I was hoping you could just kind of reflect on Jose's journey to this point. I mean, this time last year, most people didn't even know who he was, right? And now you got the whole arena chanting his name, uh, having a game like this. What's it been like just seeing everything he's done to get to this point? It's a credit um, to Jose, to his family, um, obviously a credit to God, giving him the, the gifts and the talent that he has. Uh, but then he does the work. He puts the work in. He and Coach Brandon and the rest of our staff, they put the work in. And for, for kids out there watching a guy like him, he's one of the hardest workers on our team. He's such a great teammate. He's, he's easy to coach. Uh, he listens. And he, he gives it to you night in and night out. He, he plays uh, with his heart on his sleeve. Yeah, and, and Jose was a big part of this, but your bench ended up putting up 60-plus points in this game just when well, that's with B.I. and her being out just uh, you know how big have they been the entire season just the depth you guys are able to show from night to night yeah we miss those guys I mean we miss Brandon we miss her uh, playing uh, but it's it's a luxury to have depth and to have guys that um, like I said they put the work in their preparation is off the charts uh, Billy Hernan Gomez hadn't been playing much um, but when he plays same thing he gives you everything he has and it's a, it's a joy to watch. Speaking of Billy, he gave you so much good energy after Jonas got in some foul <laughs> trouble. Can you go into just how you know, necessary and timely that was against going up against Nikola Jokic? Well, the, the thing about Billy is every game he's looking at me with, with that look like, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. <laughs> and um, you know, his, his job position can sometimes be difficult uh, coming off the summer that he had. Um, MVP, winning a championship uh, with his with his team, and then not getting the minutes that maybe uh, we all know that he at times should get. Uh, but I have to give him all the credit. He stays ready. Uh, he wins the conditioning league. Him and Garrett, they both battle for the championship. And tonight is an example of guys just staying ready, doing their work, and um, staying prepared. And I've got one more Jose question for you. After I think he scored 28 points in preseason, you said he was going to have some big games this yeah. season for you guys. Did you envision anything like this? Um, I don't know if I envisioned it, but I'm happy that, that he had a big night tonight. And um, we want these type of nights to continue with Jose and whomever else. Uh, it, it's fun. It's, it's This is why you watch the game. This is why guys go out and compete and work hard to have moments like this. And, and, and then the team winning against another really good team. Coach, uh, you only gave up 46 points to the Nuggets in the second half. Speak to that defensive energy and how proud of you were of the guys in the second half with that performance. Yeah, um, the Nuggets, they're a really good first quarter team and they come out and hit you right away. So when we were able to sort of sustain and not get too far down in the first quarter, we kind of settled into the game. So our second half message was that 
this is this is right where we want to be. Uh, this is a really good team. We're a good team. Let's go in in the second half and just take it up another notch. Uh, to our guys' credit, they did that. And uh, uh, last one for me. Um, you pulled Jose with about a minute left in the game. You sitting on 38. Got a nice curtain call. Was there any thought to maybe let him stay in and let him get 40? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I know, I mean, every game means something, but after the Boston game, you, you guys kind of talked about how like, they, that was kind of like a measuring stick game of yeah. a team that's competing for a championship. This is the team that's second in the West. It's the two-time MVP. Was it kind of the same type of, of, of feel today going into this one? Absolutely. We, we love the challenge of playing against good teams, uh, or any team for that matter. We don't look past our opponent, but... Um, you know, the Nuggets are a team that has consistently won um, MVP on their team, getting Jamal Murray back, Aaron Gordon, who, who you know, I'm, I'm a little old, but I played with him he was, when he was a rookie in Orlando. A um, lot of good friends on that team. They're well coached. Mike Malone coached me here in New Orleans. So, you know, we look forward to those type of challenges, uh, teams that are going to force us to bring our A game, and they, they do that um, no matter who they play. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs>